The uh, the game is not over yet. What? It what? Yep. What? She's been deleted. Uh huh. So it's just a mishmash. Oh no. Yeah. No. Yeah. So there's a true ending. Oh, it. We still have quite a bit of game left to go. Okay. We're leaning hard. Is she not gonna be in this one next? She's not in the title screen. We're going back. We're going back in, Shay. Okay. Strap your boots in. Go for it. <laughs> cool. Uh, I see a yen. I'm not. I see <laughs> an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Plilele, my neighbor and a good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because even- Oh, I remember this! He was a prick from the beginning. Uh-huh. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just... Yeah. Ah! What? Oh, hey. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. Something's fucking with reality. Uh-huh. She's gone. Yeah. She doesn't exist anymore. I always tell my- Is this what happened to my parents? <laughs> yeah, something like oh, that. Oh god, did I not hang out with them enough? <laughs> uh... I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Okay. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. You should join the literature club. I think it'd be a good- Actually, no. Stay the fuck away from the literature club. <laughs> Dude, you're not helping anybody. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Okay, buddy. Take a step Ooh. back. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the an- I guess I have no choice <laughs> but to start with the anime club. Pibby! Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here, you ter- Ugh. Mm. I wanna spit at her. Is there, an <laughs> Is there a spit button? I don't think. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other, well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. Pibby, stop thinking with your dick. <laughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Ah ha ha, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Well, in that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. <laughs> a literature club. That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... Three. She... She's gonna say four, but it's gonna glitch into a three. You think? Ah ha 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 ha. It's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so, mm, so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. That's, that's Pibby's hook. There you go. Yeah, it's funny, right? <laughs> she always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, it is. Yeah. She's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say sh- Oh my god, Ooh. Pibby! Stop it! <laughs> Am I like a, a horn dog in this universe? What's going yeah, on? Yeah, kinda. Has, has my character been rewritten? Because this is kind of out of character. You think? A little bit. But I, I guess that. if he doesn't- I mean, yeah. Oh, Pibby. Yeah. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Ah! I mean, I guess so, but in that case... 
Is there any chance you would do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Uh... Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome. You're really sweet, Pippi, you know that? It, it's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Aw. I... She likes you. No, but I don't like her! <laughs> she's a really terrible person! Yeah, she's cute, though. And Ned doesn't qualify for anything. Oh. Looks are not. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. And this, this marks the day where I ignore her for the rest of time <laughs> and probably try and get her arrested if I can. Aww. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the room, the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. Eh? What? A guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Yeah. Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, okay. Don't be mean, <laughs> Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Pity. Gah. All words escape me in this situation. There are three girls. It's all girls. Yep. And they're so this cool. club is full of incredible... <laughs> I think we said that last time, right? Yeah. Oh, Pippi. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Am I? No, I'm, no, I'm not. Natsuki. But the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It used to be Sayori. It's nice to meet Fuck. you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Pibby in the classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you... Whoa. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I mean, I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but it just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Pivy? If we met a girl named NJ, I think... NJ? Yeah, Pibby NJ. I think it would be a oh, match made boy. in heaven. Okay. I don't... I'm just saying... <laughs> Who names that kid NJ? You know, like Nicole, Joe, Anna. New Jersey. New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be great. We'd have wonderful talks about our names. <laughs> the These girls have a few uh, desk uh, to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and inspects, opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across the room from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So you know, you, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot in the middle. You keep all... So, like, I don't want to date anyone mm. now. Really? Yeah. Uh, because I seem to be this omen of doom. And I don't want to kill anybody else. <laughs> like as, bad as, that sounds, as bad as that sounds, mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to stay home and read my anime and manga. Uh, read my anime and watch my manga. Probably would have been the better idea, yeah. <sighs> you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers... Don't worry, the teachers give us permission. Sorry, I'm just in a state right <laughs> yeah. now. I know, I'm sorry that you have to speak as Monica. I didn't expect you to have Sayori die, so... 
After what? all, what does Monica that mean? Tea help you enjoy a good book. Are you taking over for Monica then? Because now you have one less character. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Do you want? Do you want a different girl? Do you want to take Yuri? Are you gonna go after Yuri again? I don't want to. I want to hang out with everyone equally. That way, they can't get mad at me. Okay. Um. Yeah. If you want to switch girls, we can do that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Who do you want to be? I'll. Uh, I'll be Yuri. Yuri. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? That, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Pibby, what kind of things do you like to read? Um, I read good anime and I watch quality manga. <laughs> Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I answer quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What the fuck <laughs> am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's that <laughs> sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Okay. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Stop <laughs> it! Self-righteous. Stop it! <laughs> Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> uh, uh, I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Me too. Oh? Why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. She's easily scared. <laughs> That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? It's been so long I can barely tell what we're retreading and what yeah. I'm noticing for the first time. Pretty much almost everything they say here is the same. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously with a different connotation now that say Ori's dead. But, um, oh, don't say that. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Ever since you murdered Sarah. Stop Sarah. <laughs> it! That's not... Oh! That's so terrible! Yeah. But um, it'll start... It'll change pretty soon. Well, it's already kind of changing. Yeah, a little bit. You left a piece of scrap paper behind, ugh, behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. I, why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to- Okay, Yuri. <laughs> you must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have- Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Wait, didn't they all know each other in the first time? Yeah. Why are they talking like strangers? I mean, they... Oh, did Sayori bring them all together? Uh, well, Monica started the club, and then I'm sure that helped. Mm. 
Goo! I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Goo? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Goo. Uh... I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well... I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I just decided to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Pivy? Hold on, there's still one problem. I haven't joined. Eh? What's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. <laughs> eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Pibby. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... Goo. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Yeah, just be a bro, help them out. Yeah. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these <laughs> guys... <laughs> Damn it, Pibby! Now is not the time! <laughs> right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Yes. Do you really mean that, Pibby? Yes. It could be fun, right? What could possibly go wrong? Uh, let's find out. You really you really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Pibby, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? No, you're not. You're going to ruin everything. Ooh. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm still a little feisty. Yeah. Thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Pibby, I look forward to seeing you. how you express yourself. I'm going to express myself to every <laughs> single one as equally as I can. Yeah. <laughs> uh. yeah. Can I really impress everyone with my mediocre writing skills? <laughs> I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye. I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> With that, I just part the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. No. Natsuki, oh. Yuri, <laughs> and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Can't be that bad. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to all of these girls, equally and platonically. Alright, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh. Would you like to read the special poem? I'm scared to read it! A dream. I was staying over at my friend's place. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere, and there was someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke, and everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at something that happened on the TV, so the laughing was not part of the dream. It was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. It's not a bad one. Oh, that's the same thing as, um... Crap, I can't remember the name of the show. Or the movie. Shay, put yeah. it up on the screen! 
Dude, no idea what you're talking about, dude. <laughs> we'll, we'll fix it in pose. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh... Sean dies at the end? Rod dies at the end? Jimmy dies at the end? John? John dies at the John end. John dies at the yeah. end. Yeah, okay. That's not a spoiler. That's the name of the, the movie. Yeah. I haven't seen it. 